Durango After Dark, Jonathan Fibonacci. Boom, there you go. Still working on my intro. And you know what? Tonight, I, uh, boom, here you go. Jonathan Fibonacci, Durango. Still working on my intro. Boom, boom, boom. So, what do you think? Here you go. All right, how about this? Jonathan Fibonacci, Durango After Dark photographer, comic extraordinaire, photojournalist. Like, holy shit, this guy loves to ski and loves San Francisco Bay Area. Holy shit, man. You know, I came here two and a half years ago. I was one of those guys that, well, I was born in Duncan, Oklahoma. There you go. Jonathan Benoji. I was born Jonathan Matthew Spears. Holy shit, that's a name. There you go. Then my name became Jonathan Malik. I'll tell you that story of Abdul later. And then Becky and Rebecca. And you're like, okay, Jonathan Benoja, we get it. You're a photographer. You're a comic. You love San Francisco. Why are you in Durango? Well, I moved here like everybody else because I love, I love nature. I've spent way too long in mortgage lending. And holy shit. Moved out here kind of broken hearted. Man, I'm telling you, am I the only one that get, gets pissed off at this? Here you go. You know, there's all kinds, there's all sides of Durango. I know I'm supposed to be all nice and sweet and talk about how beautiful it is. And, and you know what, Durango, I'll say this. Durango's always the best, no matter what it is. Even when it's bad, it's good, like unemployment. Like nobody does unemployment like Durango. And I love Durango, except shit like this, where they nerf the world. You know, who the fuck... See what they did? They took a beautiful, beautiful walkway and fucking nerfed it. I mean, it's feminism. And I can't stand feminist, but I love pussy. Holy shit. That is a conflicted man. So Jonathan Benoji takes a lot of pictures. There you go. Nerf the world. You might want to just go 303 right there. Durango After Dark. Okay, so here you go. I'm going to start a new series called Durango After Dark and just kind of celebrate what I think is beautiful, or even what I think is wrong about this beautiful place called Durango, Colorado. Isn't this simple? I mean, just try this out. Next time you're in conflict, just go, you know, Jonathan Benoji, like that comic on YouTube, he has this thing called the four-way test. He says, like, it's almost biblical in the sense, like, it's, like, from the Bible, like, where it says sometimes the rocks will cry out. Well, anyway, I don't believe that shit, so here you go, boom. Whether you believe in Jesus or not, this is a really good test, four-way test. Is it the truth? Is it fair to all concern? Will it build good relationships or goodwill and better relationships? Will it be beneficial to all concern? Okay, here you go. I'm going to go do a Durango after dark. Celebrate my love of photography. Chronic unemployment in this fucking ski barn, beautiful, amazing town that only hires girls from Fort Lewis. But you know, Jonathan Benoji reports on the milk, milk prices. Here you go. City Market, what's going on, City Market? You know, Walmart's selling that half gallon for a buck 18. Holy shit, City Market, buck 79. City Market, you need to hire me, dude. I will sell your fucking muffins. There you go. Muffins. Okay, here's a joke. You know, Jonathan Fibonacci got, got, us, got some jokes. If you go to City Market, you know how like everything's automated and everything's going to AI? Well, when you check out at City Market, you buy a beautiful muffin. This is me really just practicing my food photography, telling jokes on the overhala. There you go. There you go. I decided that this, you know, when it's just not working, change your perspective. Holy shit, Jonathan Benoji has life lessons. Email me. There you go. 420. No. In fact, you can PayPal me fucking 420. You can go to PayPal. Put Americano417 at gmail.com. That's right. Just like the fucking coffee with a beautiful almond muffin. Let's go to Americano417 at gmail.com while I celebrate this beautiful place we call Durango. Fibonacci style. Full of beautiful people and amazing photographers. I even miss that. I mean, she's so beautiful, even out of focus. But you know, my, my true love is 
Jack Dempsey. Holy shit. Man, that's my favorite spot in Durango. Well, one of my favorite spots. Kind of right up there with Mount Smelter. So who am I? Jonathan Minoji, comic, photojournalist. I'm doing a documentary on gender. Holy shit. Jack Dempsey, remember 1915, he fought Andy Malloy. He said, fucking bring it, nigga. Guess what? He went on to be the then Mike Tyson. See, that's what we should do. Jonathan Benoji does the Jack Dempsey story. Google Mike Tyson quotes, and Mike Tyson hollered out, Jack Dempsey, and here I live in beautiful Durango, like a raven. There I went and saw Thor. I'm trying to be uh, like the uh, Durango Herald's like movie review person because nobody likes photography more than me. And photojournalism and documentary and comedy and holy shit, sometimes... I just like to get up there with my camera. So here you go. Oh, yeah, by the way, go see this movie. It's amazing. Ask for the Fibonacci discount. Anytime you stay at the Strader, ask for the Fibonacci discount. In fact, every person you see, every company you see on the John Fibonacci YouTube channel that I hope you'll subscribe to, support. Here you go. This is me just practicing my photography. Ask for the Fibonacci discount. Usually 10%. I think, um, by the way, this door is blocked. I just want you to know. Just, just There's no reason to just... I'm just telling you it is even when black and white. It's just blocked. 402. 402. There you go. And all, any of my prints, if you like them, buy them. This is this is a protest picture. I buy my... I'm Taylor Swift, and my reputation is I'm making another album... That is saying that Jimi Hendrix is getting so much attention and I'm a chick and I don't like gluten. Fuck you, Taylor Swift, you beautiful billionaire. There you go. Taylor Swift, go fund me if you want to advertise on this channel. Just Americano417 at gmail.com. Or maybe you could just explain to me Rice Monkey. Now, this is one of the best restaurants. Go in there, ask for the Fibonacci discount. I think it's like 8%. And then uh, ask them to explain their hours. Holy shit. Rice monkey's hours? Like it's like Monday between like one and a half hours and then the next day it's off. And then Wednesday you got to call like a special code. Anyway, they have amazing sushi. Ask for the Fibonacci discount. So when I'm not hawking my wares, I'm looking for work in this beautiful place we call Durango as a raven doing a documentary on Ravens and how fucking Durango's pissing me off. And, you know, like I said, there's so many sides to this city. And this is I've been here for two and a half years, so it's, it's almost like, um, I guess maybe you want to call my love of Durango, what do you want to call it, an unrequited love? What's, what's the fancy gluten-free word, you know, when, you know, the unrequited love? What, what, what is it? You tell me, just leave it in your comments. There you go. There's some unrequited love. What's the word? You know, when like uh, one person loves the other and Durango's not giving me enough love. But I think that's one of the things that makes Durango people, I think that's the one unifier is nobody feels like they're getting love. Nobody. There's a new restaurant. Give them some love. Go in there, ask for the Fibonacci discount. You know, and I, don't, I just don't, I mean like, I think their interior looks great, but what the fuck is up with that sign? Change it. Hire John Fibonacci. I come in there and take pictures. They should call it the Wire Mexican, but no, they call it Contreras. But my real love is black and white photography. In fact, I even did some. Um, I even did some um, comedy at the uh, Steam and Bean Irish Embassy until they fucking threw me out of there. I worked there for three weeks and got into a fight with my fucking. Man, I tell you, this city, this, this is the hardest city in the world to work. I mean, I've done, some, I've done some difficult things in my life. But finding work in beautiful Durango is right up there with, well, you, I don't know, you know, holy shit. Oh, yeah, artism matters. One of my favorite numbers, 451. There you go. This little esoteric, this is John Fibonacci. You know how just sometimes you got to get up there with light, just experiment with light, even in the darkness, and work with your shutters. And this is interesting because, or at least I think it's interesting. I took this picture and I intentionally inhaled. 
I know this is kind of zen of photography with Jonathan Fibonacci. And then I exhaled on this one. It's the same picture. And this is the really interesting. This right here is the Polar Express train in its entirety with one, one shutter, where I open my shutter up and boom, the whole entire train. So there you go. And then boom, this is the caboose. Interestingly enough, this is where it finally clicked off and then I open the shutter again, that's the caboose. You're like, that's the caboose of your fucking like documentary stuff. Well, cause, well here you go, go fund me. I am making a documentary about this beautiful, beautiful place. Because, you know what? Durango's changing. It's evolving. And it is one of the best places on earth. And it's interesting to see how it evolves and how the old school is not going to let you get in their way. And they'll keep this town at $10 an hour. And, you know, I so understand uh, unions now. Maintenance of way. I find that a little bit of course, I love Jesus. I think it's interesting. It, called, it says the maintenance of way. You know, Jesus says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. It's from the Bible. Nobody reads that anymore except me. But Jonathan Benoji likes to tell some jokes and shares faith or maybe struggles. I think that's what faith really means is struggles, except on fucking Facebook. Everybody there is having these amazing lives. And I'm out here being like a raven. Dorothea Lang tried to document men's rights and how feminism is the new Marxism. And you're like, okay, did, you, did he just say he hates feminists? Yes, but he loves pussy, which means he is single. What time is it? This is me just checking the time. Oh, by the way, thanks for taking this journey with me. I promise you I'll offend you. This is my stay of execution. Google that. Look at that. Le legit stay of execution. They try to kill, they kill their homeless people here, and then I got to stay because I don't have a place to stay. And then on the holla, they're like, boom. And then if you notice, they dropped the trespassing charge because I started talking about things like federally protected statuses. And the judge, like, holy shit, federal petition. He's going to sue the shit out of the city, but he loves it at the same time. Unrequited love, Jonathan Fibonacci. Boom. Like I said, there's all sides of this beautiful city. And that's why I love it. There's so It's eclectic. And then here you go. Boom. Tonight we've learned a new genre of art. It's called gluten-free art. Of course, I'm the first person to ever photograph it because I'm the best photographer in the whole world. But if you notice... They, they, by the way, this is a really, really cool place. It's like a collective of artists and here I am supporting them but I wonder if they'll see that they're like you got to be a part of our group and like gluten well I don't like gluten free art just like I don't like you know CrossFit you're like why because I like my knees and I like never mind. never mind here's a joke about CrossFit well never mind you never talk about CrossFit you never talk about Fight Club or what it's like to be a raven so I'll talk about Gluten-free art, and how for the first time I saw gluten-free art, and it's amazing. It's beautiful. Of course, when I photograph it, it's even more amazing. These girls are just kind of, they have blindfolds, and they kind of mingling. There's kind of a little entourage. You can see this. That was pretty cool. What, what are your thoughts? By the way, if you want to Google, or excuse me, if you want to purchase any of my prints, if you like any of my prints, if you'd like me to put them on one of those cool little frames, you know how they put it at the library, maybe you just like pupsies, you're like, okay, $4.94, I totally want that print, $150, bucks. email me, Americano417 at gmail.com. Say, Jonathan Fibonacci, we love your Durango After the Dark, or After Dark, we'll just call it Durango After Dark. This is where I celebrate the city. Because, you know, I'm, I, I consider this place home. And it's okay to be honest about problems in your city. And how unemployment and homelessness and how homeless people are treated. And how they're picked up at random. Or, cause this, because this Durango has a private prison. So every time 
they put a raven in jail. They give the city. The city gets $58 a night. So boom, that's one of the ways that Durango finances its economy with a private prison. Well, who do you think goes there? Well, minority. There's a reason why Durango is full of white people. There's a reason. And rich, we- rich, wealthy white people. And I'm not against rich, rich or wealth. I mean, read First Kings in the Bible. We need to talk about feminism and how the roots of feminism are affecting men every day. Whether it's in civil cases that they never see their children. Because remember, when the, when the cops do not enforce a man's custody, he really just has to abide with whatever his ex-wife wants. Are you open to a new idea?